Hey guys, what's up? Maxwell Alexander here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate you guys being here with me today. I hope you're having a fabulous day wherever you are in the world. So, as you can tell by the title of this video, I am going to be talking about my 2017 year, and I am kissing its ass goodbye. Because, holy shit, there was a lot of crap that went on this year. And we're going to get serious on this channel. Legit. Because there's a lot of stuff that happened this year that is absolutely crazy. Some things that you don't know about me that I wanted to kind of talk about. And, um, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's not my typical video. I know it doesn't have anything to do with beauty or anything like that. But I just wanted to kind of go through my year from start to finish and be able to finally put it to rest because like I said this year was crazy okay like we're talking literally crazy <laughs> so first things first um, if you guys didn't know I actually used to live in Vancouver I lived in Vancouver for an entire year and unfortunately I got too expensive and I was getting very 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 depressed and things weren't going very well for me while I was out there. Shocker. I know. Um, but unfortunately I had to move back to Alberta. So jump forward to uh, just before the new, just before 2017. I had to move back from Vancouver and I moved into this small little town called Strathmore. For any of you who know about the town of Strathmore, you know that it's a very small, close-knit town. Everybody there knows everyone, and it's not even a lie. Like, literally, everybody down there knows everyone. So, of course, being the little gay boy that I am, that's not really a town for me, because literally, for me personally, and this is just my personal opinion, so all you haters that are going to comment down below saying, oh, you're just talking out your ass and whatever else, this is my opinion, I'm allowed to have it. Just saying. So Strathmore, unfortunately, is filled with very, very, very close-minded people. They do not understand boys in makeup. They don't understand um, me as a person and being someone who you know, loves to do makeup that's very exuberant, that's very out there. It's just not a town for that. Um, I remember a long time ago when uh, I was maybe about like 18, 19, and I had bought this blue shag rug jacket. You remember when those were a thing? And I was walking down the street and even my parents, even my own parents, were telling me not to wear it because they were worried that people were going to make fun of me. And they were right. Well, fast forward to 2017, same shit still is going on in that town. So, I literally felt completely jailed in this town. I didn't feel like I fit in anywhere. I felt very alienated. I felt very depressed. I was... It was just an absolute disaster. So anyway, I'm stuck in this town and I absolutely hated it. I couldn't stand it anymore and it was getting me really, really depressed. So unfortunately, um, I can't believe I'm actually going to talk about this on camera, uh, but I got really bad into drugs. What drugs? I'm not going to talk about, but I did get really bad into some heavy drug usage and I felt like that was the only way to keep myself happy, but in reality, it was making me more and more depressed. During said time, I was also dealing with a lot of stuff uh, with my ex-fiance. Uh, that's something new that you guys probably don't know. I was engaged at one point um, to who I thought was going to be my soulmate. Unfortunately, we had broken up years prior, and I was still dealing with um, some crap that happened between us. 
when we broke up, um, I don't even remember what year it was, but we broke up uh, because me and him got into a very, very large argument, and I ended up actually punching him in the face. Um, which I completely regret because I'm not a violent person. I'm a very loving and caring person. I don't like getting violent. I, it's not me, and I even scared myself when this all happened. So I punched him in the face, and unfortunately, somebody had heard the domestic violence uh, dispute going on in our house, and they phoned the police. When the police showed up, I was put into the back of a police car, and I was taken downtown, and I was booked in, and I was char I was being faced with uh, domestic assault charges. That was the most scary thing of my entire life. That's part of the reason why I moved out to Vancouver was because going through court, I didn't have any help. I didn't have any legal aid. I didn't have a lawyer. I didn't have any of that. And I was having to deal with it on my own. So I decided that I was going to move to Vancouver to try and get away from all of this. But unfortunately, you can't run away from your problems. That's not the way to go about things. You have to face your problems head on and you got to deal with it right then and there so that you can move past it and move on to a bigger and better and healthier future for yourself. So my mother finally found out about this while I was living in her house um, when I moved back to Strathmore and she helped me a ton. We got me a lawyer and they were able to have these charges completely dropped. I have never in my entire life had a criminal record. I have never broken the law. I've never done anything to the extent that it would cause me to be charged with something as extreme as this. I was so frightened, so incredibly frightened, and I was worried that I was going to go to jail. Luckily for me, I had an amazing lawyer who was able to get me into a program and had and told me that if I completed this program, the chances of my charges, or the chances that these charges would go through were slim to none, which was an amazing feeling. The day that I went into court to go and deal with all of this, after I had completed my program, she, she told me straight out, you don't need to be here. I can go in, I can get this done, and you don't need to be here. You can go home. To that, I said this. No way in hell am I leaving this courthouse until I hear from the judge that I am free. That I am a free man, that I don't have any criminal charges, that I can walk out of here a free man and not have to worry about this anymore. And she said, okay. I walked into the courtroom scared shitless. Literally shaking. I was so scared. When the judge told me, I believe that considering you have completed your program and you don't have any other criminal charges, all charges have been dropped and you can go home free. It lifted so much stress off of my shoulders it was the most amazing feeling in the entire world to know that I wasn't being charged with a domestic assault and that I would no longer be facing a criminal record or any of that. It was a freeing experience and to this day I will never ever get to the point where I am so violent that I feel like I need to use physical abuse to be able to solve a problem because violence is never the answer. Take it from someone who has experienced that, violence is never the answer. It'll only get you into trouble. Kill people with kindness, always be kind to those who do you wrong. Even if you're mad, don't use wor don't use harsh words or violence to solve the problem. Talk it out like an adult and deal with the problem in a calm and collective manner. That is my biggest suggestion to all of you. Now, speaking on the fact that I was engaged and me and him had broken up, we were still in semi-contact with one another because we were together for two years. He was a big part of my life and I didn't really want to let that go. 
But, unfortunately, the one day I had to tell him I couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't be his friend, couldn't be around him, because the pain of it was just too much. Not to mention, he was also very, very depressed and stuck in his own ways, and he didn't want to get any help. Unfortunately, that led to his own death. My ex-fiance ended up committing suicide uh, this 2017, and it devastated me. It was one of the hardest things I had ever gone through in my entire life. I went into a really, really, really bad tailspin. And of course, like I said, I was still on the harsh drugs. And, unfortunately, one day, I snapped myself. I ended up leaving my parents' house with a bunch of pills, and I took every single one of them, went to a park, and went to go die. That's correct. I, myself, tried to commit suicide. Now, I know what you're saying. It's a very selfish thing. And... Everybody has their own opinions on suicide. I'm not really going to get into it. But at the time, for me, I felt like I had nowhere to turn. I felt like I wanted to die. But I realize now that life is so much better and it's worth living. And I regret that decision every single day. I regret the decision to try and kill myself. To me, I personally think that what I did was very selfish because the people around me that were trying to help me were there all along, but I wasn't having it. I didn't want the help. And I was so messed up in my own brain because of all of the harsh drugs that I was on that I couldn't see that people were actually trying to help me and trying to help me through something that was really really hard for me to deal with and had I stopped doing the drugs and opened my eyes to see all the help that was being given to me that I was pushing away that probably wouldn't have happened but on a lighter note I am here today and I'm still alive and I could not be more grateful for the blessings in my life for my mom my dad my best friends and people who support me, like you guys. It has been an absolutely world-changing experience for me. Shortly after I got out of the hospital, because obviously they put you into the psychiatric unit at the hospital, while I was there, I got the professional help that I needed. And I was able to really realize how much better off my life could be if I would just try and I would literally just let go of my past and let go of all the negativity in my life and try and focus on myself and focus on my future and the things that I wanted for my life and since then I have been trying my very best unfortunately just recently I got into a fight with some friends and it made me realize that I wasn't trying hard enough, that I wasn't putting in enough effort. And now I've realized that, and 2018 is going to be a completely different story. I am putting myself first this year. I'm going to be focusing on my YouTube channel. I'm going to be focusing more on my makeup career on my business, Makeup by Maxwell, and something very, very exciting that I wanted to announce, I'm also going to be recording my first ever cover album. 2018 is going to be a year of self, a year of experiences, a year that is going to change my entire world. I can't even really describe a lot of what I want to do with my life because it's just there's just so much 
growth that I want to do in my life and I can't put it into words. But I am here and I'm happy to be here and if anybody out there is feeling depressed or sad or feel like you need somebody to talk to, I am always here. Not only that, but also there is counseling. There is help out there. The Kids Help Phone is a great, great resource. Also, the Distress Center is also another great resource. And of course, the National Suicide Hotline. If you need help, please ask for it. Because I didn't, and it almost killed me. Legitimately. 2018, I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to sharing my life experiences with you guys here on YouTube. I'm looking forward to creating new and exciting makeup looks and doing more vlogs and letting you guys into my life. I want to share my life experiences with you because you guys have supported me and you've loved me this whole time and I want to give that back to all of you. 2018 is going to be absolutely amazing. I'm super, super excited for it, and I can't wait to see what this next year is going to hold. And 2017 can kiss my little gay ass goodbye. No more negativity in my life, only positivity, love, kindness, and peace. Like I say at the end of every single one of my videos, you guys, peace, love, and hugs. And the reason for that is because there's not enough of that in this world anymore. We need more peace. We need more love. And if somebody's feeling down, give them a hug. The reason why? It releases endorphins and it makes them feel better. Even if they just need an ear to listen to, be that person for somebody. Because you guys have always been that for me. My friends have been that for me. And especially my mother has been that for me. If it weren't for my mother, I probably wouldn't even be here right now. Well, actually, that's the truth. Because I never would have been born. <laughs> but seriously, you guys, 2018 is going to be an absolutely incredible year. So look forward to your future. Focus on the present. And don't look at the past. The past is the past for a reason. And it needs to stay there. I'm wishing all of you a very, very happy new year. Remember that you've always got a friend in me, and that if you need help, please ask for it. Had I not asked for the help, I never would have gotten it, and I may not be here today. So just remember, you have somebody in your corner, someone who survived, and I could not be more happy to still be alive, and to be able to have such amazing opportunities that I have had the last few months. I was able to move into my own basement suite, all to myself, the first time I have ever lived on my own, and becoming more and more independent this year. I've been focusing on my YouTube channel, which has been going really, really amazing. I've been focusing on my Makeup by Maxwell business, which is also starting to pick up the pace as well, and things are starting to change in that, and for the better. I'm also super, super lucky that I got the chance to teach a makeup class at the Calgary Informal School of Education, which was one of the most rewarding experiences of my life. And to top it all off, they've asked for me to come back and do another class. These blessings that I have in my life, I never would have gotten had I actually committed suicide and had I left this world. So remember that life does get better and although it may not seem like it right now and you may be down in the dumps and you feel like giving up, please don't. For the sake of your friends and family but most of all for the sake of yourself because you never know what's around the corner and what could change your life tomorrow. Remember to wake up every day and be thankful that you have another sunny day to be a part of. Life is worth living. Even if you don't feel like it right now, I urge you to please stay alive, stay with us, because it will get better. I 
promise you that. From me to you and forever, remember peace, love, and hugs. Wishing you all the very best in 2018. I'm Maxwell Alexander, and I love you.